I have a counselor and I go to her once a week because I go through shit just like everybody else. And I'm talking about, I'm still trying to heal wounds from like four years old, but regardless of that specific fact, she said something to me one day that just really made total sense, but it was so new to me that it was almost like something I had never heard of like before ever in my life. Like it was like a new language. She said, the best thing that a man can do for his, 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 the mother of his children is to love his children and vice versa. The best thing that a mother could do for the father of her children is to love their children like genuine love and what she meant was this is a this is a form of love that never gets old never dies never never is unappreciated or overlooked it's like saying you you gave me this gift and I still appreciate it to this day look how well I'm taking care of it look how much I I do to sustain this gift and it's like thank you thank you and I thought that was really important now the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I was having a conversation about uh, relationships and in-laws and I came to this conclusion and I think it's also very powerful and can be very dynamic in uh, in a relationship if you are ready and willing to allow it to be especially mentally especially mentally ready the best thing that you could do for your child when they are in a relationship with someone else is to love their partner is to love and respect their partner And what I mean by that is when you are in a relationship with someone, whether you think about it this way or not, they are a direct reflection of you and the choices that you have made and continue to make. And when you are with somebody, you are saying, I accept this, I accept them. And when you are with them, you two are one. If you're not one, y'all ain't together, okay? When you are in a relationship with somebody, you are one union. You are one unit, which means he is you or she is you and you are her or him. And... I think there wouldn't be any issues with in-laws, in-laws versus spouses or spouses versus in-laws if we thought about things this way. When my daughter chooses who she chooses and I am proclaiming that I love and respect my daughter wholeheartedly, I also have to love and respect the choices that she makes. Believing that I have taught her to live a balanced life. And as long as she decides to be with whoever she decides to be with. And I cause friction between the relationship that I have with the spouse or the partner, there will also be friction in the home. Do you not realize that the spouse has to go back home to your child and shit rolls down a long hill? Now, I'm not saying walk on eggshells with the partner of your 
child. But you should try to honestly see them as a bonus, like a bonus child. If your kid go outside and pick up a fucking rock and it's just a regular ass rock to you, but this is the rock they chose when they five and six years old and they bring that bitch over to you and they just picked it up out of the parking lot and they say, look at this rock. I like this rock. I picked this rock out. You are going to say, yeah, that's a cool rock. You like rocks? That's awesome. You're going to validate that. Don't shut them down now that they're an adult and now we're talking about people and not rocks. You may not always agree with the decisions that they make, but as an adult, they have a right to those decisions. And when you challenge and are confrontational about everything that they do and say with their spouses, their chosen spouses, you are not validating them. If they are in danger, that's one thing. But if you just are having issues with them where you are always saying verbal things that are disrespectful or you feel like they should be at different parts of their lives right now. You don't know why they're still working at McDonald's. You don't know why they're not married yet. You don't know why this. You don't know why that. Let me tell you why you don't know why. Because you too busy judging when you should be validating. If I love my son. The best thing that I could do for him when he's in a relationship is to love his partner and respect his partner because in turn, that makes him happier with her. Now, if he ever needs my support or my advice, that's what I'm here for. But I'm also here for that for her. And I think if we really if we really thought about that, that that would make things if when we and we incorporated that into our regimen, uh, you know, our, our relationship regimens, we would we would see things change drastically and quickly. Also, I do feel like. The type of relationship that we have with our children will immediately reflect in the type of relationships that we have with their spouses. So if we are very judging of our children and we don't accept many of the things that they do and we think they are troublesome and don't get many things right, if we don't praise them often and overlook them, you know, things like that, let me tell you something. It's going to happen with the spouse. It's going to happen. And if you are realizing that you are saying things like, I don't treat you any different than I treat my own children. Maybe you should try to really patch up your relationship with your children. And I know this is making all of us have a lot of work to do. But it's worth it. It's worth it. Because what I don't want people to say ever is I don't know my grandchildren or I don't know my nieces and nephews and or I don't know my cousins or whatever, because you are you were not willing to change your personality for the better. And that goes for spouses who are very confrontational with in-laws. And in-laws who are very confrontational with spouses. And when I say in-laws, it's not specific to the parents. Siblings, cousins, aunts and uncles, all of that. So I just think it's, it's very important that we always try to put the blame on ourselves. And that is not a negative statement. What I mean when I say that is ask yourself. In every situation where the outcome may not have been what you wanted it to be, you ask yourself, what could I have done to make this come out better or different? What could I have done? That is where your strength comes from. And then you'll see everybody grow.